Because so many of you enjoyed last week's Mindset Moments meditation, so to speak, I thought I'd do another one this week. And instead of centering ourselves this week, I want to concentrate more on grounding ourselves. So stay tuned if you want to learn how to change your vibration and get the most out of this coming week. Hola everyone, it's Miss B Money here from Crypto Connections. Welcome back and a warm hello to those of you who are new here. If you are new here, it would really mean the world to me if you click on the subscribe button below and become part of our community. And be sure to also click on the notification bell to be notified of my latest uploads. Your vibration is directly controlling your life. Your vibration is a combination of what you're thinking, the actions that you take in life, and how you feel. Last week, we did a centering exercise. And at times, we can feel overwhelmed, negative, or even feel like giving up. So it's so important to take moments to honor those feelings and transmute them into loving energies. Today, we will do this by doing a grounding exercise. Now, first of all, find a quiet, comfortable place to sit. If you have to pause this video to do that, then I suggest that you get, get set up, get comfortable in a place where you can sit and maybe even take your shoes off and your socks off so that your bare feet can touch the ground firmly. Again, this video will be best listened to with headphones. So please, take the time you need to set yourself up. Pause this video. And when you're ready to begin, I will be here. Okay, let's get started. Take a moment and decide how you're most comfortable while sitting in this chair. Either have your hands resting on your lap, palms down, maybe even closer to your knees, or some people are more comfortable with their palms facing up. It's all about keeping your back straight, your sit bones firmly planted down and back into the chair and your feet firmly planted on the ground. But most of all, it's about being comfortable. And if you need to make slight adjustments throughout this exercise, that's fine too. It's, you don't have to be perfectly still throughout the whole thing. Another thing I want to mention is that oftentimes life isn't perfect. So we do have interruptions or kids running through the house or a cat jumping on your lap or a dog brushing up against your leg. All of those distractions, if we want to call them, are actually helpful when trying to calm our minds and transmute our energies because it's a reminder that we are human. But the real trick is noticing that distraction, honoring that distraction for a few seconds, and then allowing that distraction to pass away and focus again on either your breathing or whatever it is we were focusing on. So don't let those distractions upset you. Just honor them, notice them, and let them move on. As we begin, I want you to first start to notice the feeling of your breath. Feel your breath entering your nose. Now most people don't think this way day in and day out. So take a moment and as you breathe in and breathe out, start to feel that, that air, that warm and moist air that flows through your nostrils. And at the same time, notice how within, with each inhale, 
you feel your belly rise. And don't try to control your breath at this moment. We're simply being the observer and watching it go in and out, not controlling it in any way. If you find that it's best right now to close your eyes to focus on that, you can do so now. So again, with your eyes closed, just watch your breath. There is no right or wrong here. We're simply noticing if it's a shallow, short breath, or if it's a long, deep breath. Again, there's no right or wrong. And as we watch our breath, try to adjust your shoulders and let them relax. Again, we're just watching our breath. And with each inhale, we're noticing that our belly moves outward. And with each exhale, we notice that our belly moves inward. Just take a moment and be with your breath. Just watch it. Don't control it. And like last week with our centering exercise, imagine now that there's a golden cord coming to the crown chakra, your head, the top of your head. And imagine that this golden cord is attached to the top of your head. And I'm up there just slightly pulling on this cord ever so gently, just to make sure that your back is as straight as can be. Again, if you have any back pain or any issues with your back, don't stress your back. None of this should be painful. We're simply trying to make spaces between the vertebrae. And as we sit up nice and tall in our chair, we can feel our hands resting on our lap. And we feel this energy that's starting at our feet. It's as if, as I pull on the cord on your head, it feels as though there's an energy coming up from the ground. It's okay. If you don't feel this, you will. The more that you do do this, you will start to notice those energies. At this time, I want you to take a deep breath. And remember, take a deep breath all the way in and at the top, hold it for a few seconds and then exhale very slowly, ever so slowly, until your belly almost pushes up against your vertebrae. You're emptying all this air out as far as you can. And then you take another breath in. And out. And with the next breath in, I want you to imagine 
that there's an energy coming up from the earth through the floor into the bottom of your feet. And that energy comes quickly all the way up to your head and hits that golden cord. And it activates something in that golden cord that sends energy back through into you. And it cycles back down to your feet. But at this time, your feet feel as though they have roots on the bottom of them. And you feel your feet almost connecting, grabbing onto the floor, and these roots growing firmly down into the dark, rich soil of the earth and making their way all the way down to the earth's core almost. And as you take in the next breath, fueling your body with energy, again, it reaches the top of your head and cycles back down through you. Fueling those roots to grow even deeper into the earth, deeper towards the core. And all the negative energies within you are going deeper and deeper into the earth. That's the beauty of Mother Earth can transmute all these negative energies into positive ions. And those ions are being pushed back into your body and circulated into every empty space. Every nook and cranny, even into the mesenchyme. You're being transformed as we sit here. As you continue to breathe in, you feel as though you can take in more and more air. Take it all the way to the top and hold it for a few seconds. And then as you let it out, you feel that energy again moving down to your feet, out through your feet, down through the floor, into the earth, and deep towards the earth's core. All that negative energy is being pushed down, transmuted into positive energy, and within that next inhale, you're bringing all that positive energy back into your body. You can feel your body expanding. It's as though you are emanating energy now, a positive energy, a light that is growing larger and larger with every inhale. Your feet even might be heating up at this point. That is the energy transforming between Earth and yourself. Everything is energy. The chair you're sitting on is made up of molecules, atoms. The air we breathe is made up of molecules. Everything in life is energy. Let's take a moment and just continue to watch our breath. Don't force your breath, just watch it. And just scan your entire body for any tightness or pain that you might have. If there's anything remaining, just focus on that area. Say it's a stiff neck. Just imagine that this positive energy that came up through the roots of your feet into your body is coming up again and circling around that area, feeding that area with positive energy, love, light, whatever you want to call it. And that that, that energy is relaxing that part of your body. And do this with any area, 
of your body. If your calves are tight, focus on that area and again allow this energy to wash over that area and loosen up your calves. You can do this as many times as you want. The cycle between heaven and earth, it is abundant with energy. Everything is yin and yang. There is no depletion or deprivation. It's a balance between positive and negative. You can never deplete anything from the earth as long as we give the equal balance of energy back to it. It will always provide for us. So sit here and just like your breath comes in and out, allow those ions of negativity to go out into Mother Earth and to be transmuted into positive. It's, it's a beautiful dance and when we get to to really honor it and sit with it, it does amazing things to our bodies. So let's just sit here and again watch our breath at the miracle of our bodies automatically bringing in what is so vital to our survival. And also that with each breath it takes out toxins, pollutants, And without doing that, it wouldn't have the room to take in new, fresh breath. It is a wonderful machine, just like our heart. It pumps blood, and then it contracts, and it pumps blood, and then it contracts. It's like our lungs, they collapse to expel the CO2, they expand to take in the oxygen to feed our blood. Everything works like this. It's no different than you sitting on this chair and feeding the negative energy into the earth and the earth feeding you the positive energy. Just sit with this for a moment and be thankful that we have now awakened to this abundance that is in the universe that is available, us, available to us at any moment in time for as long as we want it. Anywhere that we want it. And in any situation. Take a few moments and when you're ready, open up your eyes and I thank you for spending this time with me today. Wishing you peace, love and light on your journey. Namaste. That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed and if you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. It really helps to grow the channel. Have a blessed day everyone and until next time, hasta luego.